morning, so it's day seven, 8 a.m. right now, and today I'm going to drive from Glenwood Springs to Blackhawk. So today's drive is going to be a long one, close to like 280 kilometers and I'm going to pass a lot of towns, cities, mountains, snow and I'm going to cross Idaho Springs as well. I just hope I do not face a lot of traffic in that city. So <coughs> I want to make less stops today because I tend to make like stop in every 5 or 10 minutes and end up reaching the hotel like after the sunset which is kind of horrible. So yeah, let's ride. Just look at those colors around me. Supremely beautiful. Done with the first 30 kilometers and just reached Eagle County entering the Gerald IR for Memorial Highway. It's gonna be a lot of mountains. Let's drive and see those mountains. <music> Done with the first 50 kilometers, just reached Dotse Row. Next is going to be the Vale. It's an amazing town, amazing drive. It's going to be one of the best drives in the world between Glenwood Springs to Estes Park. So after Vale, there is one more pass. I'm taking the Continental Drive. It's going to be another amazing one through the mountains and snow. Let's drive. <laughs> Closing into while went ahead and filled my full tank full for the car and there was just one thing which was missing in this trip. Can you guess? That's the cap. I don't travel without my caps, you know, but this time I don't know how I forgot. I had it in my list, but maybe just in the last second I forgot about it. Went ahead and got this cap for $15. Looks good. Perfect fits as well. Let's drive with the cab now. Well, I am made to be free. Be thinking about myself and myself only. Done with the first hundred kilometers and almost reaching the Dillon Lake and you have to see this thing. Look around me, those houses over there, mountains, nice trees and house on the top of those mountains. I need to zoom in and show it to you. Damn, this looks so good. Those people are so lucky to have homes over here. Just so good. You can see better from my drone side first.
it's almost more 30 or 40 miles to reach well it's one of the most famous towns here in Colorado I have no idea what to see but yeah after moving from Dillon Lake we'll go to Weil and then go to Continental Drive Pass it's already like 12.30 pm I need to drive fast now no more stopping let's drive Just reached well, done with 150, 160 kilometers. And well is one of the biggest ski city. There are a lot of ski zones. You can see a lot of ice behind me. Over there, over there, almost every part is filled with ice. And it's like 1 p.m. right now, hot sun, blue skies all around me. But still you can see a lot of ice and snow. <coughs> it just looks so good! Let's drive! Well, I am made to be free Be thinking about myself and myself only I've been like Done with the first 150 kilometers, just cross Leadville and Well both. And on my next stop to Dillon Lake, and you have to see Well and Leadville from the top. There you go. Clad mountains, snow all over it, Colorado River, and long tall trees all around it. Ooh. Let's drive. Just reached the lawn lake and it looks so big and beautiful. Look around it. And so many nice resorts right on the beach. Let me show you from my drone side. Just reached Loveland past the Continental Drive and ooh, it's such a dangerous drive. You're going to see in the GoPro footage next after this speech. Just look around it. It's all ski area, skiing, skiing, skiing. It's all completely filled with snow all over it. So 
super cold as well. Let's get the drone up. Loveland Pass. So just got done with the Loveland Pass. The elevation is 12,000 feet. That is ridiculous. Super high. So if you are driving from Grand Junction or Glenwood Springs to Black Hawk or Estes Park, absolutely recommended to do this Loveland Pass. If you have not done the Loveland Pass, you have not done anything in Colorado. This is the most recommended place, I would say. I mean. Love this. Look at this ice. Bloody hell. Woo. It's all filled. <sighs> Crazy, right? Let's drive. Just entering Black Hawk and this road from the I-70 to Black Hawk going to the US-6 highway looks so dangerous. Let me just show you from my GoPro footage. So, more 10 miles to go for the hotel and it's already 5.30 p.m. It was really a long drive. I got a ticket as well. I mean, I've already driven more than 3,000, 4,000 approx kilometers in US in last three years and I had never got a ticket. This was the first day and it was absolutely not my mistake but I just, I mean, I respected the professionalism of the cop and went ahead and accepted the ticket. It was a good experience. Maybe I will do a video about it. So let's just drive to the hotel now. just reached the hotel it was a total drive of 271 kilometers all the way from Glenwood Springs to Black Hawk it was a long drive <sighs> already like 6 30 p.m. right now I'm really hungry gonna go make Maggie organize my files and get into the editing session so see you guys tomorrow <music> Self and myself only